President-elect Trump and Vladimir Putin will soon have the most significant strategic and personal relationship in the world. Whether they are friend or foe is the biggest question of all. Shortly after the two men spoke yesterday, the Kremlin launched further attacks on anti-regime targets in Syria. This time using the Northern Fleet Fatilla that has just arrived in the Eastern Mediterranean. It's a display of expeditionary naval firepower designed to send a signal that Moscow will defend President Assad to the hilt. What is not clear is whether President-elect Trump is at ease with this Russian bombardment. Certainly on the campaign trail, Trump spoke warmly of Putin and of improving relations with Moscow, even of military collaboration. I think it would be great if we get along with Russia because we could fight ISIS together. Wouldn't it be nice if we could get along actually with the other country? Wouldn't it be nice? Be nice. Be smart. It is a radical shift from the anti-Kremlin rhetoric normally heard from Republicans. So it has left US foreign policy in confusion. It has also forced President Obama on a trip to Greece and with just 66 days left in office to hurriedly reassure Europeans the basic transatlantic alliance is still intact. Even as we see a transition of governments in the United States, across Democratic and Republican administrations, there's a recognition that uh, the NATO alliance uh, is absolutely vital and the transatlantic uh, relationship. Uh, is the cornerstone uh, of our mutual security as well as prosperity. Adding to the sense of whiplash, the man seen as the most likely next U.S. Secretary of State has spoken of the need for a massive arms build-up to deter Moscow. If you face them with a military that is modern, mm. gigantic, mm. overwhelming, and unbelievably good at conventional and asymmetrical warfare, they may challenge you, but I doubt it. Okay. Another contender for the top diplomatic job told ITV News that Obama had displayed weakness with Vladimir Putin and that President Trump will be a far better negotiator. I think Trump will be a far stronger leader uh, and in that sense uh, there's a greater uh, potential for uh, keeping the Russians within appropriate lanes and uh, paradoxically perhaps greater possibility for cooperation. But a former Secretary of State also tried to reset relations with Moscow, and that notably failed. You got it wrong. I got it wrong. And this time, too, as Russian warplanes bomb Syria, the basic strategic rivalry of the two powers may quickly poison any personal rapport between Trump and Putin. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.